What's going on everybody, welcome back to today's video. So as you guys can see right here, we have Deco from our last video and I think many of you guys like Deco and Trevor, so now I think we're going to be making a segment of them being part of this channel. And also, Trevor, he is not here today because you tell them. Uh, he has strep throat, he had to go to the hospital last night and get a penicillin shot. Uh, so he's kind of, he's kind of taking it easy for a little bit. And also, soon or later, we'll be having an office for our, for our channel soon. That means that we'll be having a better background than having a wall and also this table, hopefully. Yeah. And uh, when do you think we're going to do that? Uh, Probably within like the next month. The we'll next be, month. We'll be starting that off, trying to get uh, things ready for it. And then if you guys want to see a video of, of us making the office and uh, building the office, you guys can give this video a thumbs up or comment in the comment box that say you want to see it. Then we'll make a video about it. So what's today's topic? Alright, we're going to do a horrifying type of story. It's a mysterious death. Um, it's the death of Alyssa Lamb. And for whatever reason... It's just such a weird topic because there was a video of her before. She was reported missing in February and later on it had been known that she had died in February 19th, 2013. And wait, that was so so the same day as yesterday. No, wait, today. Today is the 19th. Is it really? It's the 19th. Today is the 19th. No, I swear, today is the 19th. It is. Today is the 19th February. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's actually so, kind of weird. So about like four or five years yep. of this day, yep. she died mysteriously. Yep. Um, the maintenance workers of the Cecil Hotel, which is a place she was staying at because she was doing a Tumblr type uh, blog or vlog, whichever uh, you want. Later on, as her stay went through, her friends actually had asked for her to go into another room because she was acting odd. And what do you mean by odd? Like, I, I'm not really sure. They just said that she was acting odd. She's acting odd. Do you mean like illness or certain like certain like? Mannerisms have changed. Mannerism? Yes. That means something might have happened. Yep. So. Um, very, very mysterious. But the reason why people have such an interest in this case is because there was a video of her before, and it was just a couple hours before she had died. And I'm going to show you all this video now. For whatever reason, she walked into the elevator and pressed all these buttons and the door wouldn't close. The door just did not close. The whole time. That's super hard. Yeah. And then she's peeking her head in and out. And, and it looks like she's There is going to be a couple of things that might be the problem. So, one, the thing is not working. Two, somebody might try to murder her. Yeah. Or three, there might be some maybe like... Like, like, like some, I don't know, like, I don't want to go against some, some religion or something, but. Pause the video for a second. Yeah. Okay, so, this, I'm going to give you some background story on the Cecil Hotel. There have been many deaths reported there of people committing suicide by eating poison. Um, murderers have lived there. Um, <clears throat> someone known as the Black Dahlia lived there, and she also died later. Or not later, but she also died. Uh, it was a long time ago. She died a long time ago. Um, and that's, it's just a creepy hotel. It's known to be haunted. So let's continue. Let's continue this video. Because it gets really crazy here I don't know what she's doing there she's backing backing up and going forward she might have seen something look at her hands watch her hands 
she's doing whatever with her hands and then later on here for too long. Just watch. She walks in, presses the same buttons it looks like. Either that or she's pressing other buttons. I can't really tell. She's just pressing a bunch of buttons right now. She looks really distraught, kind of. But watch. Watch her hand movements right here. She looked like that she's been controlled. Huh? She looked like that she's been controlled, dude. Yeah. It's pretty, it's, it's crazy. It's kind of scary. Alright, so the way that she was found, or found out that she was dead, was because the people that were in, in and staying in the hotel were talking about how the water was brown and even black at some points and that it tasted bad so what they were doing was they were pretty much drinking this rotting uh, girl's flesh yeah Go ahead. it's Continue. pretty gross it's pretty gross um and when they found her they found that her her clothes were off she was completely uh nude and they don't know how she got in there because the the only way she could get in there was a one foot hole. So, well, what do you mean by the one foot hole? Like, there was literally a one foot hole that she could get in. Like, do you mean like a hole? Yeah. No, like it was a hole in the tank. Oh, a hole in the tank. Yeah, there was only like a one foot hole that she would have to squeeze through to get into the tank. Dang, she is so small. Yeah. Either that or she really struggled to get in there. Or somebody just put, her, her, in put her in there. Which seems like it could be the case. And which, as of right now, there has... It has not been revealed that what happened. Mm -hmm. There might be some more research about it. But as of right now, I am very sure that they lay off this case mm -hmm. because it's that mysterious and there's no evidence yeah well they wrote it down as a suicide as a suicide but this suicide by the mm -hmm. local video it, it does not look like a suicide it no. looks like something is wrong it looks like something's going on unless she and, well and later on in toxicity reports it showed that there were no uh wounds where she or someone pushed her in or abuse or anything like that and also there were no drugs or alcohol in her system so that's kind of it's really odd that she was doing all that stuff with her hands it's a walk whenever yeah. you're Sleep, sleepwalking yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah that's um, sleepwalking <clears throat> yeah there's a chance that she could have been sleepwalking but um because that feeling. would that would go right with her friends saying that there was a lot of weird uh, stuff going on with her and that's why they made her move to a different room or asked her to move to a different room and that is and that's very weird too like 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 i mean that what is wrong with her like i mean why did she have to move rooms instead of being that same room like i don't know i mean i mean does that first room have something or <laughs> like well just... well she was doing a lot of research on this stuff you know that could be tied in with whatever is there if there's you know spirits there or if there is a killer there that didn't want his or her identity exposed yeah didn't exposed. want to be exposed um but yeah that's pretty much the gist of the story her parents i think they tried to sue that the hotel hotel yeah for, you know, honestly, for for how many deaths, how many crimes, and also how many different history of the hotel, I, I have a feeling that they need to shut it down. Because yeah. that hotel is actually a lot more suspicious than 
what happened to that girl. Mm. Like, yeah, I mean, there's so much that's went on there where people have actually people have jumped out the windows. And something might happen to them that that might be the same with the girl. Like I mean, with all those hand movements and things. Like I mean, I have a feeling that they also have that. Yeah. But that's also that super duper weird, super yeah. mysterious. Yeah. What's what's it makes you think? What is at that hotel that is making people commit suicide? Or you know, whatever. What's who? And to, something that is very very coincident is that today is the 19th of Fe- of February, which is the day that she was four or five years ago. Oh. Yeah, reported dead. And that is actually really, really freaky and um Un- unnerving. And, yeah. Really. Just let us know in the comment box what do you think happened to this uh, girl, or what do you know that happened to this girl? If, and if we have any facts wrong, just let us know. Yes. If we have anything that has nothing to do with what happened, make sure to tell us, and we really. Sorry if we have something wrong or that might offend somebody. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Make sure to subscribe, leave this video a thumbs up, and have a nice day. Bye. Bye.